Now, why would I want to do you a favor? Well, let's just call it an investment in your future. If you do this for me, I'm sure tomorrow there'll be something I can do for you. Mrs. Avery, so well, nice to see you. You're early, but that's okay. He's always in a better mood when he's expecting to see you. Maybe I should drop by more often, huh? That would make my life a lot easier. Uh, he's just finishing up. He'll just be a minute. Okay. It's a very lovely outfit. Thanks. Abby, your act may play on the road, but it's not going down here. Greg. I really want this. I can see that. But you're not listening to me, Abby. Empire Valley ended everything between us. I don't want anything to do with you. I don't trust you any more than you trust me. But that's why it works. We have the perfect system of checks and balances. You want to talk about balances? I know what's in it for you. The question is, what's in it for me? I don't know. Yet. Well, why don't you get back to me when you find out? Hi, Laura. <clears throat> you ought to put in a revolving door. Don't tell me you're doing business with her again. Do I look like I'm crazy? You have had your moments. This is one of my better ones. Come over here now. I want you to sit down here, count to 100, then close your eyes. Hold the elevator. Thank you. For a new building, these elevators are real slow. Can I walk you to your car? Walk me to my car? Yes, well, it's getting dark early this time of year, and I thought you might... I can take care of myself. Yes, yes, of course you can. It was a pretty dumb thing to say. No, it wasn't. It was actually very sweet. It's nice to have a gentleman around for a change. Thank you. I never know what to say when I'm around someone who's as... I mean, you're a very beautiful woman. And I'm not very good with small talk. Then why are you making it? Could I give you a piece of advice? I remember when you first came to work for Greg. You're a very clever and resourceful person. So if you really want something, why don't you just ask for it? The worst thing that can happen is that the other person will say no. Well, will you join me for a drink? No. I thought we were going out to dinner. I promised you dinner, and that's exactly what you're going to get. No, 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 no. Lift the lid. Maybe you'll change your mind. I'm not lifting the lid. I want great food, superb service, elegant atmosphere, people. Lift the lid. Maybe a little music, a little candlelight. That's up to you. Lift the All lid. All right, I'll lift the lid. <sighs> Dinner for two at Bernie's Burgers. That's great. That's the wrong side. Let's go out someplace nice. I'm tired of eating up here. P.S. I love you very much. I like the last part best. Afterwards, we'll take a uh, long, romantic drive along the shore. And then, right home, if you insist.